Firstly, the use of force in a democratic setting is unconstitutional, forcing people to vote undermines democracy itself. Hence, democracy is built on the ideas of freedom of choice. People should be free to choose who to lead them. Making it mandatory to vote is directly taking away this freedom. Any government that tries to apply the use of force becomes authoritarian, are taking away personal liberties of its citizens. This alone disqualifies the assertion the credibility of any election is for people to be allowed to come out on mass on their own to vote. That even allowed the government and international community to assess the extent to which that election was successful. Having said that, consider the kind of politicians we have in this country and our politics is being practiced. Who and who are we making voting mandatory for? Just every last year, we voted to be our next president. But I know that this will change for better. Opposing him, the first bit of color he gave us was remove the petroleum subsidy, proving the one nation who took in Obia into untold hardship. Prices of goods and services continue to rise. Renewable with all his charisma cannot handle this country the way we want. Presently, we are expressing the capital of the mirrors, and as all this are happening, our lawmakers all have the constitutional power to call everybody to order, including President Captain Particularly the Senate instant, they are busy by journey for 160 million naira flashes cars. Housing allowances, it is for God's sake. Is this the kind of our leaders who want to make voting men judge true for? Leaders that have turned out to be part of teams, partakers, betrayers, country men, and a couple of them are from the constitutional voters, the elected group. I beg you, Baba God, scatter them, destroy them, including Enjik and Ali, that try to make voting men judge true for us. Because of this great leader, we all know that today, hungry, starvation, and what I died is the order of death. Born out of the east is the of our leaders. It is often said that a child that he licked his mother's pot of soup and flee test the gods back to some pot the second time. The most powerful part of this argument is that our retirees who have served this country for 35 years have been neglected. Particularly our teachers who taught and made this country great have been denied their gratuity. Some of the retirees have died. Some of them developed paralysis while others on their sickbed as a result of inhuman attitudes of our government. Some of the children can no longer go to school because parents can appropriate their school fees again. These are people who are better two times the elite. They are voted under some, some of them under rent, and with the hope that things will change for better. No way. And some unscrupulous elements, and some we are agitating for mandatory voting, as if they are part of the dirty deal of our greedy leaders. Oh, Tonda, where are you? This is the time you are supposed to strike. Strike so that you eliminate all of them, so that you are peace in our nation. Or join them in one aeroplane so that it will crash land in the course of the island. Furthermore, our security agents, i.e., the police and army, are being used by the really parties to scare our water from the police station by the use of gum and taggers just to pay for overseeing women. And where that is not possible, courts are being used to turn over the outcome of election, which is simply because the candidate is incumbent. Or the highest bidder. Money. 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 This thing has turned our country into misery, starvation, hungry. We are dying as the expert of some few greedy individuals. Yet, we are still preaching mandatory voting. What a nonsense. Introducing mandatory voting will be a calculated attempt to instill 